peace and grace, family and friends of St. Mark. Uh, with the grace of God, we have some exciting news and changes to the registration process that we would like to share with you for the next uh, round of registration. First of all, we're all happy that the Mother Church in Scarborough is now uh, uh, is going to be opened and we're going to have, it's going to host two liturgies, one on Friday and one on Sunday. Both of them are uh, from late liturgies. Um, the new registration process will also let you uh, pick multiple liturgies for the weekday and the early liturgy on Sunday. And um, the uh, we will allow each family to specify the names of those who are attending each of these liturgies. So if you select two liturgies to attend, you can specify... For example, the parents will go attend the early liturgy on a Sunday where the, um, the kids will attend the, let's say, the late liturgy and you can basically um, specify who's attending which liturgy. Um, the new system will also allow you to manage the sis uh, your registration yourself. Um, you can edit, you can also cancel your own liturgy uh, so that will give those who are helping with the registration uh, some uh, time to help those who need some help. Um, okay, so we will start now. Uh, to access the liturgy registration, you go to St. Mark's website, which is stmarktoronto.ca, and in there you're going to see a link. Clicking on the link will take you to uh, the page that contains the Vespers, the liturgy, and a guide. Um, right now it is not available on the website because we're going to release it tomorrow at 4 p.m. But basically you click on liturgy registration, it will have a link here to go to. So right now I'm going to demo how to register for the liturgy. So you will log in with the same login and password that you've used before. Um, and you should be able to see your older, um, uh, your record with all the details in it. Okay, so you're going to go click on edit. Um, okay, so this, um, you we, this information is still the same. Please do read it carefully. Um, and then you hit next. The name, the address should be pre-populated and that if that changes, please update your name and phone number. Hit next. And this one is the COVID-19 screening. Please do read it and make sure that you testify. You will not be able to proceed unless you click on the button here. And then this is the exciting part. So in here, you can actually pick, we will allow you to pick one of the liturgies in this top list here, which are basically the Sunday liturgies, the late liturgies and the Saturday liturgies for the next two weeks. At the beginning, we're only allowing you to attend one. And this is to be fair and to allow everybody to a chance to attend the second liturgy. If you do not, would if you don't want to attend any of the uh, late liturgies on the weekend, please, you can go ahead and just click on not attending. You can only have one of these selected, but we'll leave it now and I'll show you what area you're going to get. For this list here, it says to select which liturgy or your family member will be attending. Multiple liturgies can be. So you can actually select for the next two weeks whether you're going to be attending the Tuesday early liturgy, uh, whether you want to attend the Wednesday as well, um, but um, and, and whatever liturgies you want to attend. So in this case, let's say I'm going to attend the two Tuesdays and I'm also going to attend the Sunday liturgy. If I hit next, I should get an error because the top list only allows you to pick one liturgy. So in this case, I do want to attend the Sunday liturgy, but I, so I have to uncheck that. And I'm going to hit next. All right. So now for each of the liturgies selected, you are required to enter the number of people attending, including whoever is registering or whoever account this is. So the number of actual people attending, total number, and the names have to be entered. So if I enter, for example, two people attending, 
so I'm gonna let's say my myself and my wife will be attending this liturgy okay now for this for the Tuesday liturgy uh let's say I'm just attend for the first Tuesday I'm going to be attending myself and then for the second Tuesday I'm going to attend it with my son for example so I'm going to say enter my name and my son okay so make sure that you enter the name of everybody including the main contact if the main contact is attending okay once you hit submit you should be receiving an email to whatever email that was in your in the first page when you logged in and the email so going to my email I can see it here and in here you can see um so I have selected a Sunday liturgy and the two Tuesdays so there's my Sunday liturgy the two Tuesdays and the number of people attending so on Sunday it was me and my wife on the first Tuesday it was just me and then the second Tuesday was me and my son okay now let's go back and try to let's say uh something came up and I do want to cancel um the 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 second Tuesday so I can go back to the website go to the liturgy registration because it's not available I'm going to do it I'm going to copy the link myself okay so you're going to log in again And then I go edit in most cases you're going to have only one edit line okay you're going to go through everything again um, until you get to the point where you so this is your name right email so everything stays the same unless you have uh, updates to make this should be checked from the previous registration so in here I can come back and say let's say I don't want to attend the second Tuesday so all I need to do is just uncheck it and if I hit next it's going to present me with the names for the other two liturgies so this is the Sunday liturgy which I'm not changing and the Tuesday let's say you do want to make a change this is the this is your chance to actually change the names of those attending so um, hitting submit make sure you hit submit without submit you this is not completed if I go back to my email there's my second email and in it it should list only the Sunday and the first Tuesday okay so it's very important that um, you enter the names and specify the number of those attending including the main contact if the main contact is attending um, so we can see that the system has been changed to allow people to uh, specify different names for parents for in-laws as long as they are in the same house or they live in the same house thank you and god bless